Welcome to the training lesson about how to harvest uh, yellow pages or directory or any website uh, like forum about a specific topic or anything who has a database of your prospect or your partner or a database of something that you're interested on. So I will teach you different solutions, different technologies to, uh, to harvest different kind of websites. The first one is macro scheduler. Why macro scheduler? Because actually I learned how to use macro scheduler when I was 11 years old. So when I was 11 years old I was not especially a technical guy. I was using this to, uh, to play video games and uh, to, um, to control my, uh, my unit when I was playing video games. So if an 11 years old kid can do it, you can do it. So, and actually my, with my cruise schedule you can do a lot of things. So, here the f this will be a video, I will, when I will start a video you will have a, an explanation about my cruise schedule. So the first video is just an explanation about my cruise schedule. Let's start a video. Hi, I will explain you how to uh, harvest uh, uh, websites, uh, directory website, uh, yellow pages website for example, to collect all details about uh, companies in any country and here specific companies just like a restaurant, accounting or whatever you want. So here I will take the Hong Kong Yellow Pages. What well, are the Hong Kong Yellow Pages? They provide some some good information, uh, the email, the file, the phone number, all the information you want actually. You are quite easy to, uh, to harvest. You have to put uh, some security. If any security you want, very easy to overpass. So uh, this is the Hong Kong Yellow Pages. To harvest a website, here is the training lessons for uh, for beginner. I will teach you with a, with a solution who is a, a macro scheduler how to harvest it. So you need the uh, Hong Kong Yellow Pages. I will take the English version. So this is the English version. And the macro scheduler and the just not bad. So what I forgot is to set it. You have to download Macro Scheduler. You tap Macro Scheduler on Baidu, and you will find plenty of uh, of website who will uh, allow you to download it. So here, this video, the next one, will explain you how to uh, prepare the record with Macro Scheduler and uh, and Excel. So you have to record uh, your macro. We call this uh, macro. That's why it's called Macro Scheduler. And the macro will. Uh, Keep all what you, all the move of your mouse and the move of your uh, keyboard, and the touch that you are uh, clicking on, you are using on your keyboard. Let's start the video. So, what is the principle? The principle is to uh, to record a sequence on the software uh, macro uh, scheduler that I will do uh, many 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 times. I will ask him uh, the ask the software to do uh, 100 times, 1000 times the same sequence to uh, to collect the information. For example, the uh, sequence would be. Uh, Accounting, we go to the account, accounting pages. So I'm selecting first the accounting pages, and I will collect this information, all this information, to put them here in the block, in the notepad, to have uh, to have the information. But here there is one problem: there's a security on the Hong Kong yellow pages. You see, this is the email address, this is the fax, and if I copy this like this. To information to be right email and fax. That's not what we want. We don't want email and fax. We want the real email and the real fax, of course. That's the real security that the Hong Kong Yellow Pages are, has put in CSS, CSS is a kind of program programming system. Um, so how to overpass it is very easy. With your brother, which is Mozilla, you say it's in French, but your whole life is uh, in here in English would be CSS. Is activated CSS. By deactivating the CSS, you have all the information in clear, no security anymore. So, ta -da, the email address is here. The email address appears. Same for the fax. Fax. Ta -da. Easy. So, we'll go back here. We have the CSS again, you can see. So, I will just do this. I will uh, copy the information and we we'll go to the next page to, uh, to copy. So I deactivated it. And for, before doing this, I'm preparing the good size of the screen. 
so I can easily record after. So here you see I'm in the bottom of the page. I reduce the page. To reduce, you press Control and you play with your mouse to uh, to uh, put the sound the size smaller. So here you see that next, the bottom next is always here. Wherever you are, if you are on the uh, first page, second page, page number uh, five, here goes page number five, and the bottom, uh, the bottom next will be exactly in the same page, place here. It didn't change. So this page is perfect for uh, for this. You also see that it's number uh, number uh, five here, but like this will be number one. If you want to program, you could scan it like this. But here I'm just teaching you how to do with a uh, macro scheduler so anyone can use it there's nothing special on it okay here we saw how to uh, how to integrate the, um, the browser to uh, to use macro scheduler and so here you will see how to record it so I will just play the little video that I done before to record the macro scheduler macro let's start it so now that we are ready, let's start. We will use a macro scheduler here. Start the sequences. So here are all the results of the uh, yellow pages for accounting on the first page. And I asked to macro scheduler to record what I will send to. Record. Record yellow page I give a, a title. To stop you will have to press Control Alt S. So record the uh, yellow pages. Starts. Okay. Ready. Here. I copy all the information here. The system will record all the details about uh, the mouse, the touch, the uh, the, the keyboard. Here on the bottom of the page, and I press next. And it's finished. Ta-da! So fast. Control and yes, finished. Uh, you see, I copy everything. Um, I didn't show you how to copy. You have to press Control A and Control uh, X. X C, C. X is to copy to cut. X is to uh, copy. Control A is to select everything. Control C is to uh, copy. Control V is to uh, paste. And I paste everything here. So you saw. We uh, just done a little, uh, a little uh, macro just to select all the information and to go to the next page. So we select, we copy, we paste in the notepad and uh, we go to the next page. And when we rec we play this in a loop, it will just say, we copy everything, we select everything, we copy everything, we paste it in the uh, notepad, we go to the next page. We select everything, we copy everything, we go to the notepad, we paste everything, we go to the next page, we select everything, we copy everything, we go to the notepad, we paste everything, we go to the next page, etc, etc, etc. So like this you will select uh, all the page, of, all the page of uh, the yellow page, you can go to bed and uh, he will do everything for you. So now we have to update a little bit the, the macro. So, yeah, yeah. so now that we have the macro done, you see the macro is here. I open the macro. This is the macro. Very interesting. I don't need you to. Uh, I don't ask you to, uh, to do anything inside. I just ask you to to say I want to repeat it uh, many many times. So for this loop, loop is the repetition label for those who have programmed uh, 30 years ago. Now no one is using label anymore in programming. And 30 years ago it was uh, label and go to. So label starts it starts Ta -da. it will start and at the bottom it's, you say go to starts so they will do the sequence the sequence and when we will have finished they will go back to the to start so they will do it in loop all the time is it simple? ok so this was just to uh, to make the, the macro turn around and now, this is the video about how to execute the, the macro scheduler. So let's play it. So now that the macro is done, we just have to, uh, to play it. So on macro scheduler, play. And he will go page to page, collect the information. See, he copied. 
price uh, tag and paste. And you will go down here to click on next page. Next page, next. And uh, it's collecting page to page. It's quite one page. So now I can take a coffee, I can, uh, can read a book, I can uh, watch uh, whatever I want. The computer is working on its own. So you see, it was quite easy with a uh, macro scheduler. You will have all the information on the on the notepad. Now we we'll have to treat this information because notepad is good, but it's not really useful to treat them. Here I will do something very simple just to collect the the email if I remember well. Yes, just this. How to treat all the huge information on notepad? with Excel. So now that you have all the information about accounting on the notepad, you need to, uh, to collect them. So here you have all the information on the notepad. How to do? The best way is Excel. You take Excel. Here is Excel uh, for, uh, 2013. On Excel, you paste all the uh, all the information. You create a new page on Excel. Here you have everything. And what you do is you ask a new macro. An Excel macro is a Visual Basic. Do you know Visual Basic? It's not very complex. So you record a macro. Record. You say I want a macro. And I want to find the email address. Here you have the email address. You create the email address. You go on the second page. You paste the email address here. Say I want to create a new line to push and down. You go back here and you stop the macro. Very simple. So if I repeat the, the macro, each time I will collect a new email address and put it here. But I will not play manually like this. It's stupid. I can go to the macro exactly like for the the macro scheduler. I can say repeat it. So here to repeat it in Visual Basic is four. X one two nine nine nine. So I want to repeat it one thousand times. Next. This is how to do. Simple. Here. Repeat it. And she will collect all the email. Put them on the second page. And he will stop when he will not find any email anymore. Gmail. Here we don't have the same format, so you remove the space. So we're all the same format. And here you say remove duplicates. And you have the email address of the accounting who were in the Hong Kong Yellow Pages. Ta da! You can do this for uh, the email, the fax, uh, all the information. If you're good in Visual Basic, you can program directly in Visual Basic to, to do something a bit, uh, a bit more complex. Also. Okay, you've seen how to use a macro scheduler in Excel to uh, to collect uh, from the yellow pages. Uh, I've been a bit fast when I see this video to explain how to search on Excel and the arrow bars because it took a quarter of seconds but you didn't know how to so it's the touch control f control f to do a search or control uh, h to do a search and replace no i didn't do it here so just control f to search now let's see the other solution the second solution would be i macro i macro is a bit more technical uh, macro scheduler I show you it, uh, it's the first solution I show you because it's really the it's not technical te not technical at all anyone can do it uh, I was doing this when I was 11 years old as I told you uh, 
uh, at that time I was not a programmer, I didn't know anything, I was just uh, playing video games. 11 years old, you can do the same as an 11 years old kid. A macro is uh, the level upper, you need to be a little bit more uh, more uh, technician, it's not very technique. But with iMacro, you can uh, you you can uh, harvest uh, any kind of browser on internet. Okay, here it will explain you how to. So now I will teach you how to uh, harvest the yellow pages with another tool, a very powerful tool, which is iMacro. iMacro is a macro who will uh, control your browser. So you can ask whatever you want in your browser, he will do it. It's a bit more uh, technical, uh, this one. Uh, I didn't start by this one. More uh, more technical than the other one, where you just have to click and uh, it's okay. Uh, for this one, you need to uh, an interface with uh, with uh, PHP and so on. And so with uh, MySQL. So what he can do, he can here you are in the yellow page. He can open all these pages, for example, and he will collect the data and he will uh, save them all of them. So how to do this? I needed uh, a table that I call yellow pages where I save just text. I will save the entire content on it and uh, there is uh, an ID to uh, auto increment them. So that's the database. And now uh, we use the PHP form generator to uh, create uh, the form about it. So select the database I will select
Let's try. You're already here. I wouldn't have dared you after me. Raining and the connection was very very slow, but actually we could see that uh, it was working. To uh, it was collecting uh, the information on the yellow pages. It was going on the the page to uh, to uh, submit it, and so the first part was working. And now the only thing that uh, we had to do is was to um, to adjust the first parts to the second link, third link, fourth link, fifth, uh, fifth link, to all the different links on the page. Because if it has worked perfectly on the first uh, link, it would have, we, we just need to copy paste the system to work on all the other links. So this is what's, uh, what uh, I was doing just after. When it's done, uh, this is the step after when it's, uh, it has been uh, updated and I will play it now. So, I just finished the, the macro. What I did, I just add inside the uh, bit code in each, uh, each section to collect uh, the, the information of company and to publish them in the uh, PHP form. So this is uh, everywhere here in each section actually for each of them. Da, 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 da. Who will pay it? So I play a free. Uh, 10,000 times, so I want to open all the pages. If you open it, you see it's quite fast, so fast that we can't even see it. It's collecting and it's publishing. So it's much faster than, uh, than with a macro scheduler who will, uh, who will open with the mouse and everything. This could directly remove control the, the other and everything when you will have finished. I finished the, the page. Oh, she has probably already changed the page. No, not yet. That will be. The last one. I'm not sure. Next uh, step is change page. Just come in next page. Just click on next page. So like this, he's uh, saving all information from the from the yellow page with the iMac. You can see uh, here that if you're saving everything, you will find all the detail in the in the database. So here you have all the details. That's all. Very simple. So which uh, very, uh, which information interesting? Uh, well, I will uh, summarize it in the books. So uh, these are important information on how to extract uh, information. So you saw it's uh, it's working. The good point here is it's collecting all the information and he's directly saving it in the database. So you can uh, you can directly treat the the fax, the name, the phone numbers, the email, which was not as you could have done it also with Excel, with the super um, to macro scheduler, but uh, I didn't do it. Until so thin with a macro scheduler on Excel, just create the email address. So that's very easy. I could have done a bigger program 
can go uh, deeper and, uh, and collect really the fax, the phone number and everything in Visual Basic. Uh, but I think it would have been lost. It would, uh, it would have been a bit complex to understand immediately how does it work. So I prefer let it uh, like this and just show you how to collect uh, the email address. But here this one is already collecting the, uh, message much deeper, much thinner. So, the important tags. What are the important tags? Set er error in your yes. This means if you have any problem, any problem during the the play of the of the macro, do not stop. Keep on. It's not because the fire, it's not because the field is not in the same place or has changed name that you have to stop everything. Maybe something. Maybe the webmaster to change something on the website. Maybe uh, anything can happen. It's a bit slow. Keep on. Keep on, keep on. Till you can, uh, you will maybe lose one information, but you will keep on, and uh, the others will happen. Uh, and set error, error in your no. It means if there is any problem, you stop. Don't keep on if there is a problem. I recommend more to use uh, error in your yes. So like this, uh, you can go to bed and it will work for the entire night. The second one is uh, set extract test up uh, pop up no, which means. Uh, now it's in production mode. Do not show me what you're doing. Do it. Don't stop every 10 seconds or every 5 seconds to say, yes, I've done this. It's working, you see? Keep on. Um, Say timeout uh, 120. I mean, I give you 120 seconds to open a page. If after 120 seconds the page is not open, we will consider that there is a bug, so keep on. Maybe the website has bug or any problem. Clear. Clear means delete all the cookies, so the webmaster doesn't know who you are. Like this, like this you, you can change your uh, your cookie like this. Typically, you can use this on uh, on Baidu uh, on Baidu on the like on Baidu because they just track the cookies. So if you say I like this product on Baidu and you delete the cookies, you, you can come back two seconds after and say I like this product again. Uh, something is not related to uh, harvesting, but it's something on Baidu. If you have uh, uh, your own page on your blog in Baidu, you can say I like, I like, I like, and there would be uh, 10 million, uh, 10 thousand people who say that your products are good. Actually, it's just you who, who is saying I like, and you're deleting the cookie all the time. The other important tags are uh, those. Those are here to uh, help you to. Um, to extract information from a field. So when you see extract uh, equal to XT, it means I want to extract the information in the field c uh, called var1, variable1, one, var1, one, var2, var3, var4. So this means I want to extract the information. And under, to save this variable somewhere, it's, uh, you see the, um, mm, the, how to say this? Well, you just, I don't even know how to say this in English. Um, content equal. Uh, how to say? Crochet. Var one, var two, var three. This means I want to save the information called in var one, var two, and var three in the in the form with the attribute ID save one, save two, save three, save four. So like this. You can manipulate uh, data in your uh, in your form. But attention, one thing important: you can only use four variable. Var four, um, var four doesn't exist. Var five doesn't exist. You can use var one, var two, var three, and extract. That's all. You cannot use var four. Doesn't exist. It doesn't work. It will not work. It will bug if you try. So each time that you are using the var1, var2, var3, var4, and you want the uh, var5, five, five, uh, variable 5, you have to delete the, uh, one of them and use the one you just uh, remove. It's the only way. But uh, when you know this, you just do it like this and it will be perfect. So now we will see a third solution. This solution is more for technician, for, uh, for experts, for those who uh, who know how to cut a, cut a bit. Uh, I did it in a way that anyone can do it. Don't worry, if you have never code, you can do it. It's not a, I really made this script so you don't need to do anything. 
you will you can download uh, the entire uh, system in crossbordertraining.com slash harvest.zip here you will get uh, a database an SQL database called uh, harvester that you have to uh, to execute to import on your PHP admin and you have a script harvest Alibaba because I use it on Alibaba my first test was on uh, Alibaba so you can uh, you can use it uh, here you would have the example of Alibaba you can change for uh, to adapt to whatever you want no need to be on Alibaba you, know, you can uh, you can use it for uh, the yellow page you can use it for whatever you want and you have a, a folder PHP who is 422 this is a special directory done to to collect data from the who is of any domain name this will uh, you can take any domain name and this will give you all the information about the owner the technician uh, the guy who is uh, su supposed to uh, take care of the uh, technique the administration you will have the phone number the fax the, the email the, the address everything so with this information you can start to collect more massively information so as I say you have to uh, you have to upload this on your server I didn't say it before actually uh, you have to upload uh, PHP uh, who is uh, 422 on your server or on ECPHP if you don't have your own server and you have to add uh, to uh, import a uh, harvester.sql on PHP admin well, here for example we want I wanted to collect all the supplier in Guangzhou on Alibaba.com so on Alibaba.com I select supplier Guangzhou here I will have all the supplier there is uh, there was uh, if I remember well uh, 23,000 supplier on uh, Guangzhou uh, here we have collect oh no not 23 I'm, I'm wrong 8,100 uh, 8, uh, guess I have yes I have selected other city after um, here you have all of them you can see you have already uploaded you you have first with a super macro or macro scheduler you can uh, collect you could have collect all the URL of uh, of uh, subdomain from Alibaba just like here uh, swanfa.en.alibaba.com slash contact info you could have collected all this information with super macro or uh, or a macro scheduler or actually on Alibaba it's uh, 100 uh, by 100 and the result are 100 by 100 so so for 8000 it's just uh, 80 requests you could have done it just with your with your keyboard if you don't want to, uh, to use uh, this, uh, these techniques so you select you save all this information the the subdomain on your uh, on your uh, MySQL in the in the field URL which is the, the URL actually and after the PHP uh, the uh, PHP scripts will uh, will uh, scan them analyze them select if there is a domain name inside scan the domain name check all the information and uh, fill all the information here so here for example we're opening it's um, manually opening zuanfa.en.alibaba.com uh, slash contact info that is HTML here if we, you show the source it's control U or you can use the the mouse to say show source you see immediately that there is a uh, all your information there is the, the address there is the name of the company there is you can find everything inside the URL of the web so here you have the, on the source you have the name of the company you have the website the name of the website it's always in the same way you can see that whatever the uh, company would be it will always be like this uh, th company name td and uh, the email address like this so in the code in the harvest Alibaba PHP script you have here exactly the same you have a format company it's always a title the HTML title contact information for 
and the company name and close title. For the name of the seller, it's always uh, the DHTML Belize, uh, Belize um, uh, div class contact info, um, title H1 class and uh, name, the name of the of the seller, and close the H1. For the phone number, it's always uh, DT tele telephone, DT close, DD um, the phone number and close DD. For uh, for the mobile phone phone format, it's always 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 uh, DT mobile phone and uh, D, uh, DD mobile phone, and you close the DD. And for the uh, domain format, it's always always like this company uh, contact information. Uh, you close it. HTTP double dot slash slash the domain name, and you close the the A which was the the link. Same for uh, for the second domain, just after ahref and the second domain. On this page, there is no email address, no special format for email address. But if you are uh, collecting uh, another for another uh, website where there is email address, you can put a special format for the email address. So, if you this is the example on, on uh, Alibaba, but you can use exactly the same system anywhere on any platform it will work exactly the same you just need to uh, to change the format on top you change the mysql the uh, and mysql connection and uh, mysql x-ray database this you change to fit to your database you change the format of the company name format of cell, uh, cell uh, seller name format phone format mobile phone format domain name one format domain name two uh, format email you change this you see that there is production mode one you let it production mode one no, zero till you're doing the test you are not sure it's working well so you let zero and he will show you what he collects and when when you have done it well into a work you put in one and when it will be one he will start to harvest to collect everything he will be in production mode and he will scan the entire directory that you will give him here you can see that there is domain to not uh, refollow one domain to not refollow two i'm here i'm saying if you see a domain who, where uh, there is alibaba.com or aliexpress.com inside don't follow it again you are in the same system it's um, you are in alibaba and alibaba is doing advertisement for himself don't follow it if you see as uh, you saying this is the, the, the domain of the clients of the of the Alibaba user, but it actually it's Alibaba again. So don't scan two times the same URL. You will turn around, turn around, turn around, and you will never finish. So if if you found any uh, websites with uh, using Alibaba or AliExpress, do not follow. If you're on the uh, yellow page in uh, in uh, Czech Republic put the domain name of the Czech Republic yellow page don't keep on following and following and following the, the um, yellow page in, uh, in Czech Republic so when this will be done and you will have done the, your different tests in uh, production mode zero and it will work the result will clearly show you the good results the good name the good uh, do, uh, domain name the good phone number the good mobile phone the good company name then you can put production mode one and you launch it. So here, the script will uh, collect immediately uh, the domain name who is on uh, on Alibaba. He will find this one, this domain name. He will automatically in curl scan the domain name. Fuvi, Fuvi was on the, on uh, Alibaba about this uh, this Alibaba member. Here he will see. He will check if there is an email address. He will see that there is some QQ user, plenty of QQ user. So there, if there is some QQ user, there is some QQ tags. So we just need to add at qq.com and it will have the, the email address of the user. Here. Here we just need to, uh, the fact that he recognized some QQ user on the code, it's uh, UIN equal and, uh, and a number. When he see this, he know that's a QQ user, so automatically he will collect all the QQ email address who are in this website. Um, here, 
if there is a protection, the this uh, this script is very very smart. If there is a protection uh, with an iframe, the script, for example, in, uh, in konglisu.com, the script will first scan konglisu, and you will see nothing. So not interesting. Actually, there is something, but it's protected behind an iframe. He will see the iframe, and he will restart the procedure behind the iframe. Here, you see, when you're going on the website, for you as human, you don't see anything special. You see the contact page, so you see, okay, we'll scan the contact page. But if you open it in PHP or in curl, you won't see this at all. You will see an iframe. He will, here, for example, you see an iframe with absolutely no information. So you can see that there is a shoes 2012job cn The curl is small enough to understand, aha, uh -huh, that's a protection. I will overpass this protection. And he will overpass it, and he will scan the new one. When he will scan the new one, he will detect the page contact, the URL contacts, on the website. He will scan for the home page. He will see that there is no email address. Not interesting. But he will detect all the link and he will see that there is a link with the keywords contact inside. If you could, uh, you could see a contact, there is message also there, by the way. Contact, message, uh, email, feedback, all these keywords, the, the tool is smart enough to, uh, to uh, recognize them and to scan the, the page behind. So he will open it and here he will see plenty of email. Here you have all the information. So the, the PHP script will be smart enough to collect all this information and to put them directly in the um, in the database. So when you uh, will want to contact them, you will have all the information. Here he has collected all the So you just need to uh, load the script. So by, uh, by launching the script, he will do everything. When, it's, uh, when he would have finished, he will say that uh, everything has been scanned. You cannot... Uh, you can collect the database from uh, the table harvester. So he will have finished. It will take a uh, few days to, uh, to scan everything. But when he, uh, it will have finished, you will have everything in your database in, uh, in perfect format. So the name on the name, the, the email address on the email address uh, file, and everything. So you uh, so only would have scanned everything in PHP in curl. So you can see that there is no email address on Alibaba, on Alibaba, but there is a domain name. It's what we uh, we just did. It was a domain name. So from the domain name, the script has automatically scanned all the email address on the website and also on the Whois record. It's what I explained on the on the folder uh, PHP Whois uh, 422. This this is the entire system who will who will uh, um, do some requests to the to the register of the domain name to know who is the, the owner, what is his email address, what is his name, what is uh, his phone number, what is his fax, wh where he live, what is his city, what is his address. You will know absolutely everything about the owner and about the technician. Not only the owner, because the owner is maybe not a technician. So he will also give you all the information about the web agency who is taking care of it. Here, by experience, we know that it's around 70%, yeah, 70% who will be able that will be able to uh, to collect the, the email address to contact it. So. Um, so, by, yes, my experience, 70, uh, here it's uh, 68, which depends, sometimes it's 71, it's around 70, 70%, you will always have an email address like this. There is uh, uh, another website, another uh, solution, who can do the same with uh, less technical, I don't know if you feel it was the technical what I just teach you was not very very technical uh, it was uh, you have to uh, to open the source and check uh, la, check uh, the code source to uh, to put in the good format in the php script it's not very technical but if you want you can also use uh, uh, email extractor it's a it's a software who costs 44 uh, us dollar 
not very expensive, 44 US dollar, don't consider the visa that expensive. And with this, you can ask him to scan as many uh, websites as you want, and he will scan the website, and he will uh, he will also do the request on the Hui. So he will collect all the email on the website and on the Hui. So trust the software to uh, to download and execute. He will do the same thing. It's uh, 44 uh, US dollars. If you don't want to play the technician, you don't want to uh, to code the PHP uh, the PHP things, he will do it for you. I recommend you to do PHP for me. Uh, so I recommend you PHP, but if you really don't want to uh, to touch on techniques, he will do everything for you. So you just need to download it. It's quite easy. So here you can um, you can scan all the website for a specific keyword on Google on Baidu. It's another technique to uh, to harvest. If you want to um, to collect email address for uh, for any specific keywords it's not uh, as efficient as uh, yellow pages yellow pages would be really people if you're looking for doctors on yellow pages you would have all doctors in a country and only doctors this will give you the email address or uh, of websites replying to for the word care for the words doctors so there is high probability that there are doctors but there is a high probability that they are not. There are uh, just some someone talking about it. So you will talk about it. It's good to collect email address, but uh, the email address will know it's not especially. You're not absolutely sure that it is what you want. It's good for uh, for doing a big spam actually. So here you can select the search engine. Do not use Google. Google is uh, there is uh, too much security, so uh, you will be uh, banished after a few seconds. But you should use uh, Yahoo, Bing, Rumbler, uh, Yandex, Dotman, Dogpile. This or uh, search engine who doesn't have security like uh, Google, and the security is not or not as powerful as Google. So they will uh, allow you to scan them and to uh, to collect all the information, analyze the website, and uh, collect all the the email address. So if you execute it in five minutes, you will have a uh, one thousand hundred and twenty-five uh, email address, which is uh, which is quite powerful. So yes, you can you can collect uh, email address on special activities very very fast, but it's not exactly the the, the topic. It's related, but it can be something completely different actually. You're not absolutely sure that you're taking doctors if you're searching for doctors. If you're searching contacts for a panel, you're not absolutely sure that there are contacts for a panel.